One of the greatest things about the keto community and about camping are the friends that you meet along the way. Yeah, and today we got to meet up with somebody who's part of both communities. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we are here at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, Florida. We're actually sleeping in the parking lot, which that kind of sounds bad. It sounds terrible, but you know what's not terrible are all the magicians and street performers and all of the amazing RVs to see. Yeah, so we've been here for three days. We've got two more days to go. We've walked about 16 or 17 miles. Woo. And this is what I love about keto because we're doing it every day, not eating. We are fasted and not having our first meal until late. Like it is almost five o'clock. Yeah. And we haven't, you've had one cup of coffee all day. I can't believe I've only had one cup of coffee. I know, right? How? You're doing amazing. But that's part of the keto lifestyle. And one of the things we really like about keto is it brings health to us, right? And we're able to be around more for our families. And then one of the reasons that we're meshing our Two Crazy Ketos with our new channel, Two Crazy Campers, which there's a link right up here, is because there's so many people who have families and they go RVing and yet, you know, they're concerned about their health. And yes. so if we can introduce the keto lifestyle to them and then also bring the camping lifestyle back to people in the keto world, you're meshing the best of both worlds. And today is a perfect example because we got to meet with a really cool full-time RVer. Awesome him, family. His wife and their four kids live full-time in RV and they have a YouTube channel, which I have linked down below and he is keto and has lost over 90 pounds. So we got a chance to meet him and I wanna play that right now. Okay, we're at the Florida RV show here in Tampa and we're here with Ryan, who is from the Party of Six and they are actually a full-time RV family. And I've actually met him through the Discord for five to go. Yep. They've got four kids. They're on the road full-time in an RV. But here's the cool thing. We have talked about on our channel all the time that we love our keto channel and the whole purpose of our keto channel is to encourage people and be the family and be the support that people don't have. And then when we got our RV, we decided to start the camping channel, hoping we could mesh people because there's so many people in the RV and the camping world that they're not very healthy. That's true. <laughs> so, especially cause you're on the road, you're eating a lot of fast food. So we're hoping maybe we can bring the one to the other because you want to be around for your kids. Right. Like I 100%. discovered keto late. Okay. I'm 50 years old. I've been on keto for, I'm going to my fourth year. Okay. I lost over a hundred pounds, but we missed our kids lives. So our youngest is going to be 20 next month. Yeah. So we were the big fat people that couldn't get on the rides when we went to Disney world yep. and stuff like that. So we're hoping to do that. And here's the cool thing. Ryan has lost how much weight on 90 keto? pounds, 90 pounds. Yep. So what made you start keto? So my mom did it actually. So my, I had done keto years ago, like right when it was like starting out and I had lost 30, 40 pounds and we had our twins and that kind of, so I have, we have four kids and two of them came at the same time. So that just threw everything for a loop. And so then, you know, I'd actually, I probably put on 30 or 40 pounds on top of what I had lost. And so then, you know, my mom was really successful. I think she lost 80 pounds in like wow. six, seven or eight months. So, wow. so that was kind of an inspiration. Like if my mom can do this, I can do this. And same thing. I mean, I have four kids, the twins are now four. And I was like, yeah, I really want to be around for them. And we had gone to SeaWorld mm -hmm. and I couldn't fit on roller coasters. And it was yeah. like disheartening, you know? And I was like, this year I'm going to do it. But we lost our SeaWorld passes. So I, I, I feel like I would fit, but that was the, the eye opening thing for me was, you know, the same thing. I want to be around for my kids. My wife is five, three, hundred pounds, you know, super active and everything. And then I would be like, you know, I'm done because my feet hurt, yeah. you know, and I really discovered like things like Coke, like I was drinking six Cokes a day mm -hmm. and that I found out once I cut that out, like my, my body felt better. Yeah. I wasn't as sore. And so, you know, with keto, not having all those inflammatory foods and everything just made a huge difference. And now Tiffany does it because she has uh, Crohn's disease and all these other things. Yeah. We found that 
those all of this food was causing inflammation in her and making her Crohn's worse. So just getting on this healthy lifestyle has really helped us not only for me lose weight like she's not doing it to lose weight right she's just doing it because of the inflammation and everything that's going on in her body and just needing to get rid of all that junk and that's the thing people ask me all the time like why do rachel and i stay on keto because she lost 100 she doesn't look like it yeah. but she lost 100 pounds on keto so it's the inflammation mm -hmm. so i actually have a bunch of pins in my ankle i spent 30 years on arthritis medication yeah. and painkillers our honeymoon she had to push me around in a wheelchair because like I couldn't get through Disney yeah. World because I just of the pain and the inflammation. And I didn't know about all of the negative, you know, the positive side effects. I did it to lose weight and then discovered like, wow, I feel awesome exactly. on it. So do you have any tips for somebody who is in an RV <laughs> on keto? Oh yeah. Uh, we Especially use, when you have kids. Yeah, we yeah, use Thrive cool. Market. I don't know if you've ever used Thrive. Mm -hmm. uh, so because they ship, you right. know, so wherever it's hard when, when you're traveling to get food. Um, so, you know, do that research, you know, Amazon has tons of stuff. So don't be afraid, you know, to go out and find, you know, ways to get food. Uh, cool. Because I think that's one of the hard things is you like think, oh, I can't find the food. So I might as well just eat, you know, junk. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, invest in like good cooking stuff, like a good grill or, you know, like a, a Blackstone or something. Because, Blackstone, got to have a Blackstone. Yeah, so I have a Camp Chef, but it's the exact it's the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. And, you know, invest in that stuff because that, you know, cooking is fun and you know cook good food you yeah. know that's the thing is don't be afraid to cook good food even you know we cook in our rig all the time we have to we're yeah. full time yeah. <laughs> so we don't have a choice um you know so you know just make that sacrifice to cook you know don't take the easy way out and go eat out and things like that because it's more expensive and it's not healthy yep so, so that's that's the big thing for us is you know get out and cook and uh you know find find the food because that's i think the hardest thing for us sometimes is when we're out and there's no whole foods or something like that it's easy to just go pick up the junk because it's yeah. quick but even keeping a sleeve of hamburgers or something oh, yeah. in the freezer i mean exactly. we live on hamburgers and oh eggs. yeah that's what we live on yeah so, oh, ground sure. beef hamburger eggs bacon yep. that kind of stuff yeah 100 so. percent. what is your favorite keto meal i like steak Steak. Steak. This is my kind of guy. <laughs> Rachel's is steak, but we discovered we cook steak at home. Uh -huh. But we we discovered prime rib. Oh yeah, I did and, that for Christmas. And prime rib is expensive to cook at it home. Is. To do it right, yeah. you know, because you got to buy a big four or five prime rib, pound prime yeah. rib, and it's only the two of us. And now what do you yeah. do with all that? And this girl can eat. She'll she'll <laughs> eat a forty ounce prime rib, oh, wow. no problem. So we discovered Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Because you go in there and they will cut any size oh, really? you want. So they'll go up to a 40 ounce prime rib. Wow. So we go in there, 20 ounce prime rib, and then you tell them you want broccoli. Yep. But with the broccoli, you want them to make it just like you would make a loaded potato. So okay. put butter, sour cream, bacon, that all amazing. of that on top of it. And like, that's a meal. Oh, right that's there. awesome. And I figure at the end, it's probably what it would cost me to cook it at home oh, anyway. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's cooked so perfectly. Yeah. But you know what, before keto, nobody would tell you to eat prime rib because all that fat. Oh yeah. Now it's candy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now we want that. Well, guys, this is Ryan again from The Party of Six. Go check out their YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link down below. If you want to watch this, a family of six people live on the road and have antics, you got to go check out their channel. That's a lot of fun. It was such a privilege to hang out with Ryan and Tiffany and their amazing kids today. And I'm so excited for those kids because they're going to have their dad for years to come. Yeah, it was so nice when we had a chance to talk to him for him to just say, like, you know, I don't want to miss my kids' lives. And, and we were able to identify him when he was like, you know, yeah, we went on these rides and I couldn't go on them. And I know what that feels like. Yeah, me and too. It's so awesome to see him taking these steps now so that, you know, as his kids grow up, he can be there for them and get to experience life with them. You know, we waited until our kids were older and we were there for our kids. But I think about all of the awesome things, if we had the energy that we have now that we could have done with our kids then. So the message today is don't wait. Don't put it off. Your family wants you to get healthy and it's possible. Yeah, well, that's gonna be today's video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have a few other videos linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.